Hey guys, it's Cameron from Desert RC. Just did a poll recently on my YouTube, asked what rig you guys wanted to see in the next video, and by popular vote it was the bloody truck. My son's class too. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna set up some gates and we're gonna do a little comp practice. I'm gonna show you how I set up the gates, get a good flow going, and then just jump right into our run. So when I typically set up a comp course, I usually like to have a pretty good flow going. And I like to make the gates challenging, but not too hard so that others can't do them. But for myself, I'm just doing it to see what my son's class two is capable of. I'm just gonna show you guys how I do things here. I think a good place for number two would be right about here. You typically want it to be about a foot apart. I'll just do that for now. <laughs> just kind of get a good flow going on here. A lot of the time, just kind of set gates up. I don't know if they'll work perfectly, but it's worth a shot. See if we can get through these. Let's see. Come up that. Make it a down off camber gate. up. I do have some bonus gates in here too. Sometimes we'll set up some easy bonus gates, some gimmies, but not always. Make 10 a little bit hard. And we've got one more bonus we gotta put somewhere. Put our bonus right here. A really weird spot. Well, that's a buggy line. I don't know if we can pull through that with a class two. Anyway, it's worth a shot. I'll try it out. All right, let's jump right into it. At a comp, what I'll usually do is run the course like this about three times just to kind of get an idea of the lines and what route I want to take. But. 
It's always good to have a strategy before getting into a comp. Two. Three. Up and around. Four. Down. Five. I do want to make this one interesting so you can either come up, try to get through it this way, or come up this way. I might just move these like that. There we go. Okay, six. Seven. Eight. Bonus. You can do bonus nine or nine bonus. Okay, down that. Up this bonus. Cross here to ten. All right, let's try it out. I want you guys to let me know what you think about this style of video. If you'd like to see it more often, we can definitely make that happen. Yeah, I already screwed up on this one. See if we can get out of it. There we go. Maybe next time I come out here and practice some gates, we can run bug bite. My class two Desert RC Coyote chassis. Oh, that's a gate. It's definitely a hard one. I feel like we can make that through there, but We'll come back to that and try it out. This 
is also a good way for me to get some practice in because it's been a while since I've done some comps. There we go. Eating up a lot of reverses, but this isn't a real comp, it's just practice. We're gonna see how capable this truck is because this is the first time we're really pushing this truck through this kind of stuff. Let me know in the comments, are you guys more into trail stuff or are you into comps? The problem with me as a driver, I don't like to be stumped on obstacles. I like to get through obstacles no matter how hard they are. So in comps, sometimes I might spend a little bit too much time trying to get through a gate that I should strategically just bypass. We'll come back to that. We got that gate. Little mistake. All right, now that we got all the little bugs worked out of my system, let's uh, set up another 10 gates and two bonus cones and we'll kind of see how much better we do on that one. All right, here we go. You guys can feel free to time me. Get one. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta square up to it. There's 
used to. There's four. Clean all the gates, two reverses. Pretty nasty side hill right here. Got some electrical gremlins going on with my son's rig. It might have been because he drove it in the rain the other day. Well, that was a hard one. It was either take the roll over, take the gate. And the reverse. That was five, this is six. Got a bonus right here. This one's a gimme. Yeah, definitely need a stronger servo in this thing and maybe a BEC, but aside from that, I think it's plenty for a four-year-old to do some comping with. Okay. Take the reverse. That's eight. Another bonus. Yeah, we don't have the steering that we do on my other rigs, but still doing pretty good. Get those bonuses you can make up for the mistakes on the other gates. Nine. And ten. Ten's a tricky one. I don't like the position I'm in on this one. There we go. And gate 10. Clear. All right. 
Yeah, let me know what you guys think about this style of video. If you guys like it, I'll do it more often with my other rigs. If you guys want me to do more of the cinematic trail stuff, leave your feedback in the comments and I'll be sure to try to make some different styles of video. But yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like, share, I'd really appreciate it. And uh, see you guys next week. I'll probably put another pull up on what you want to see next, but I'm thinking I want to do some four-wheel steer buggy stuff next week. Alright guys, thanks for watching.